Hi everybody, this is a slow down time lapse of my painting Spirit of Spoonbill and I just wanted to share with you a few of the things that I was doing. Um, here I am using Bombay India ink and red violet mixed with white paint and I'm trying to mimic the feathers. They are all fluffed up as the Spoonbill is preening himself. Um, normally I take a spray bottle of water, drop the ink, and then just sort of watch the, the color explode onto the paper, but here I wanted a little bit more detail so it didn't just look like a big fluff of, of color. So I added white, I added um, the uh, red violet by Bombay, and tried to mimic uh, the way feathers actually fan out. Um, it's not easy to do this when you have ink on a shiny paper that tends to move in the direction it wants to move. So I had to give up some of the idea that I was going to control it as much as I had hoped I was going to. Um, so I applied it, I let it dry, started working on other parts uh, of the spoon bill. Um, I'm using a black Prismacolor pencil here to do a little bit of detail work. I love using certain Prismacolor pencils, and the reason why I say certain is because I never know which ones are going to work. It's important to, um, to make note of ones that are going to work well on the paper because not a lot of them do. Uh, black Prismacolor pencils, if you dip them in water before you apply them to your Yupo paper, you almost get... Uh, it almost turns into like a watercolor pencil, which is amazing. And then you can use it dry to uh, tighten up any detail work that you might have. Um, so down here on the legs, I am using alcohol ink to gain some texture on the feet and legs of this spoon bill. And I just put the dropper to my paintbrush and then lightly tap it onto the paper and it gives a very nice effect. Um, here I'm continuing to use the uh, black Prismacolor pencil to just tighten up any lines. I try to make my the faces of my spirit animals as lifelike as possible and then as I go further and further out from, from the eye, uh, my paintings tend to get looser and more abstract. Um, so I, I always make a point to spend as much time as possible on the eyes especially and the face of the animal uh, because that's generally the first thing that people will see uh, when they look at my paintings and I like for them to connect uh, with uh, that animal um, because normally I have the animal looking at the viewer. Um, so uh, here I'm just continuing to do that. I'm using uh, various Bombay India inks. Uh, let's see, Daler and Rowney FW inks also work very well. Uh, I use Higgins brand ink uh, on occasion, although that ink is a lot less predictable. That ink will really move when you add water to it if you're working on Yupo paper. So that is definitely worth uh, experimenting with. Um, I didn't realize how much time I spent working on this eye. Evidently, I could not get it right. Um, so that's why I am working on it so much here. Um, so let's, uh, so you don't have to hear me talk on and on about things that I've already said. We're going to just wait and see what happens next here that I can uh, share with you. Okay, I am, it looks like I am using uh, black paint and I'm trying to mimic uh, the little tiny feathers that you see on a spoonbill's neck. Uh, they're very sparse uh, on a spoonbill, so I wanted it to look very fine, very uh, fluffy. Um, so I was going in with a little bit darker, uh, a little bit darker ink there. And then now I'm using white for highlights to sort of bring that out. This is a jelly roll pen here, and this gets you a, def a very defined white. Um, those are great if you want to do detail work, um, on anything. So, uh, that is really about it. Um, hopefully you found this semi-helpful. 
Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'd be happy to answer anything for you, and I'll see you next time.